Hey y'all, it's Rosie from iHeart Recipes, and in this video, I'll be making homemade granola bars. All the ingredients that I will be using came from iHerb.com. I absolutely love them. My shopping experience with them has been amazing. They have a lot of hard to find ingredients at great prices. They also have a 10% customer loyalty opportunity as let's say you spend like $50 today, you will have $5 applied on your next order. Really great stuff. They also don't charge sales tax, that's a plus, and they offer free shipping in the US when you spend over $20. Down below, I'm going to give you a rewards code that you can use, so if you're a new customer, you will get $5 off your first order. Now let me show you how I made my granola bars, and I'm going to start off with my coconut chocolate chip. In this bowl here, I'm going to add in my quick oats. I have my brown rice crisp in there, and I just added in my coconut flakes. Next, I'm going to add in my mini chocolate chips, and once everything's in there, I'm going to stir the ingredients, and I want to make sure everything is well combined. Now I'm going to work on my wet ingredients. I have some coconut butter, which is not cocoa butter, okay, FYI. I'm also going to add in some raw coconut sugar and some raw honey. Once those ingredients are in there, I'm going to place it in the microwave, zap it for a couple of seconds, and then I'm going to mix everything until it's nice and creamy, just like so. Now we're going to combine the wet ingredients with the dry. And we want to make sure we stir everything until everything is nice and well incorporated. Now I'm going to grab my baked dish and I have some parchment paper in there. I'm going to empty out all the ingredients and then I'm going to flatten it out until everything is nicely level. Now I'm going to show you how I make my berry granola bars. So we added in our quick oats, our rice crisp, and now I'm going to start adding in my fruit fusion. And this has a ton of berries in it. There's cranberries, raisins, tart cherries, blueberries, and more. Once everything is in there, I'm going to mix these ingredients, and now I'm going to make my wet ingredients, which is basically the same ingredient that we made earlier. You have your raw honey, coconut butter, you have your coconut sugar, but this time around, we're going to also sprinkle in some cinnamon. So once everything's in there, let's zap it in the microwave, and then we're going to mix everything until it's nice and creamy, just like so. Now it's time to combine the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, or the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. Once everything's in the same bowl, let's mix everything until it's well combined. Then we're going to place it into our baked dish with the parchment paper. We're going to bake our granola bars on 325 for about 20 to 25 minutes. Then we'll remove it out of the oven, let it cool down, and now we can cut our bars. These were so amazing, they're nice and chewy, and I like both flavors, so I can't just pick one. Definitely give this recipe a try, tell me what you think. Don't forget to get the code down below so that you can save $5 off your first order at iHerb.com, and visit my blog, iHeartRecipes.com, for the exact measurements. Thanks for watching, see you soon.